Bob Dranoff uh, here at Malloy College following our program on gender equity and uh, Title IX compliance. I'm here with Janet Judge who made a presentation today. Janet, I appreciate you being with us. It was an important program for the conference and uh, administrators and coaches. I think it, it, it makes a difference. I wanted to ask you, uh, as a former student athlete grew up here on Long Island, what would you say in your mind is the biggest change that have happened in the 40 years of Title IX? I think, um, first of all, it was a great presentation today. It was wonderful to see so many uh, people from so many institutions, and uh, it's great to get out front and talk about these issues, so uh, kudos to you. But I think in the last 40 years, we've seen dramatic increases in participation at the high school level and the collegiate level. Uh, so I think Title IX definitely has had an impact on that. I think we've seen uh, student athletes get more access to quality participation, both men and women. And I think that uh, with the current state of enforcement, we're seeing more and more schools educating themselves on Title IX just in time for the 40th anniversary, and I think that's a great thing. That is. What would you say for the folks that were here today? We had uh, <coughs> both athletic administrators, uh, coaches, uh, we had administrators from campuses, even some student athletes. What would you say the, the two or three big takeaways they should have from this program would be? Well, I think there's a misperception that Title IX is just about athletics. Athletics. Yeah, I think we had a good discussion today about the fact that it's a campus-wide obligation to comply with uh, laws that prohibit sexual discrimination, not only in athletics, but harassment, sexual assault. So that was a great uh, discussion to have. I think the, the misperceptions about what Title IX requires and what it doesn't require was also a good takeaway. And the fact that um, all the different areas and all the different ways that Title IX applies to facilities and equipment and supplies, financial aid and participation, I think people walked away with a greater understanding of what their responsibilities are and, and some understandings of what Title IX does not require that have been used to criticize the law in the past. That's great. I, you know, we, we feel that education at every level is important, so we're happy that we can provide more education. Uh, finally, I was going to ask you, what do you think, and you do programming in lots of different areas for student athletes, administrators, what would you say, looking ahead, what are the big issues that are happening in, in college athletics and student athletes especially that are important for schools to be paying attention to? Well, I think equity continues to be an, a big issue, but I think access across the board is an issue. So not only uh, allowing more people to participate in athletics, and this is a difficult financial situation, but treating our athletes well, uh, both male and female, and, and providing quality opportunities for athletes. I also think that we need to be protecting our student athletes, and so we're, we continue to see issues involving bullying, sexual harassment, sexual assault, um, uh, harassment and discrimination across a uh, variety of areas, and I think it's important to continue to have discussions about that. I think student athletes are out there and put in positions where they are vulnerable uh, to be harassed, and I think we need to protect them in a way that really is effective and important. Yeah, well said. Well said. Janet Judge, thanks very much for being with thanks, us Bob. again. Thanks. That's great. Happy thanks. holidays. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. It's really good to be able to have that answer at least when they show up on campus. Yes, we have one, and I know who that is. Um, those are really good. Um, it's very high profile now because of the new harassment and sexual assault. Um, I'm here with Malloy College Director of Athletics, Susan Cassidy Light. Susan's also the chair of our Athletic Directors Council within the uh, East Coast Conference. Susan, we had a great program today with it's Janet really Judge. I wanted to get some of your thoughts about the program. Well, gender equity and Title IX is such big issues now of everybody in their institutions and across the country. So it's a great opportunity for us to hear what's important and what we should all be doing on our campuses. And any opportunity to educate our uh, administrators is important to make the whole student athlete experience a great one. I think within the conference, one of the things that we're committed to is, is providing educational opportunities, not just for administrators, coaches within the conference, but also for student athletes and, and helping them grow and develop. And I think that's something that all our schools are committed to. Yeah, absolutely. And then just by the turnout here, you can see that everybody thinks it's important. They were all asking very interesting questions and to take back to their campus and make whatever changes they need to. Great. Thanks, Susan. Thank you.